Hi, uh, thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to show you the progress I've been making on my Seven Years War French 50mm army. Um, I wasn't expected to paint this, if you remember from a couple of videos back, uh, when I put out my British Seven Years War army, I found that I had painted uh, some, a few, French in uh, many, many years ago. Um, and uh, I was motivated to find some of the unpainted lead and start to complete a project that uh, started decades ago. Um, it's coming on quite well, I'm quite pleased with it. In fact, I think I'm going to be in a position to try a game uh, in uh, a very short while. And uh, I'll see if I can do a video of that to, uh, to show you guys. Um, so, without more ado, uh, I'll show you the figures I've got. This is my 15mm French Seven Years War Army. Uh, up to date I've painted nine battalions of foot and five regiments of horse. There are two more regiments of horse to complete and another battalion to go in here and then that's all the figures that I have at the moment. Um, it's a mix of uh, Old Glory 15s that I think are still available in the UK from a company called Timecast and some uh, Blue Moon which came from Old Glory. I got them at Partisan this year. Um, the general officers are Blue Moon and uh, a couple of the regiments of cavalry are Blue Moon. I'll, I'll put uh, some Blue Moon figures up against the Old Glory 15s in a minute, so you can see how they match. But broadly speaking, um, they are not a bad match. The horses of the Blue Moon are bigger than the horses of the Old Glory, but the men are the other way around. And for comparison, uh, here we have the figures on the left are the Old Glory 15s, and the figures on the right are the new Blue Moon figures. And uh, I think you can see that the horses are quite different. Um, I'll just give it a spin around so you can have a proper look. Um, I think I prefer the horses on the Blue Moon, but the figures on the Old Glory <laughs> isn't always the way. Um, I found the Blue Moon figures a bit trickier to paint than the, uh, the Old Glory ones. Um, they came out alright, I think. Um, so there's it's margins, thin margins. But, uh, yeah, a hybrid between the two, I think, would be my preferred. I'm, I'm not going to try and do that, but... Uh, these are the Blue Moon General Officers. And I was very impressed with these. I thought they were very nice. Um, there's some good posing. Uh, you get six figures in a pack for, uh, I think it's nine pound. I'm not sure about that, but it's, that seems to ring a bell. Um, they paint up pretty easily. I had a dilemma about how to do the gold lace and in the end went with a yellow rather than a metallic. Um, I'm not sure that was the right decision, but they still they look all right, I think. I decided to put them on the same size base as all the other elements. Uh, and I think that works well. It's uh, big enough to make them stable and stand out without uh, sort of compromising moving them around on the, on the battlefield. Okay, that, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Um, and I'll post another video soon. Cheers.